from the mountains to the prairies to the ocean white with foam god bless america my home sweet home god bless america my home sweet home oh that looks awesome ladies and gentlemen welcome to my job shop my name is keith and i'm here repairing america one project at a time we are coming to a conclusion on our project repair, braze repair on this project. And I just brought it out of the sandblast booth and I went ahead and I blasted their scale as well. And then I just hit it with a little sandpaper on the top just to pop those letters right, or the, <clears throat> the ruler uh, right out of there. And it looks good. That, this is, this is, uh, back in the day, Lupkin actually made the scales for this machine. So that was, that's pretty cool. Or at least that scale that's mounted on this machine, should I say. <laughs> it looks original, uh, is what I'm trying to say. All right, we're going to get back down on our blocks and we're going to put this piece back into original shape and that the customer brought it in minus the brake and Let's get it going. You can probably see the scale and how it pops there, as I was saying. Give you a good look at our repair all the way around. All right, let's go put it together. I had to grab my grease gun and a couple uh, rags here so that we can put this together. Um, what I need is just a little bit of grease on here, a little bit of grease on the end there so we can poke that through there. And this has still got quite a bit of grease in here, but we'll smear a couple little dabs in on, a, on our screw there. I actually have a tub of grease somewhere around, but this is just uh, my regular general purpose blue grease here I like. Okay, we got to lead through our support hole down here, and this goes in here just like that. And I happen to get the scale on the right direction, I believe. We had about an inch of the uh, spline. There's some dirty grease right there. Chunk that pushed through there. Okay, and just so we're in the ballpark, about an inch right there. Um, there was two shims. Okay, I got them right here. I had to go back on the video because there was a shim that was laying out on here when I pulled it apart and it actually came off of here but bounced over there. All right. Ah. Okay, and before we put that in there, we want to put a little dab down in here.
Hey, that was two nuts. One, one to draw on and one to lock. Huh? And they were just, uh, that's so you can adjust it. Cool. Okay, that's about one inch right there. And I think we're gonna be ready to put this through here. We're gonna shove a rag through here. Make sure we got it clean. And we'll put a dab of grease on there and we're gonna get this block slid over into place here. Somebody put in the wrong size key here, so I'm going to get a piece of quarter inch key to put in here so this hand wheel has got the right key in it. Let's uh, put this key in here. I may have to, I got to radius that key fit in there, otherwise it's going to be longer than that piece. That key is going to be nice and tight.
Yeah. If you got it engaged, it's not going to go anywhere, right? That's on the bottom side. I couldn't see it. Right, ladies and gentlemen hope you enjoyed uh, this project I'm I'm uh, I'm glad I was able to bring a little bit of shop action back into uh, my video uh, projects here and uh, this has definitely been a fun one and everything's back together there actually it was I had to laugh because uh, it has a lock in there and I thought the thing was binding somewhere and it was the lock was engaged um, but uh, it's all back in action. It has a couple extra parts here. The two pieces of braids that we didn't put back in there. And the undersized keyway somebody threw in on the handle. Um, anyhow, until next time, get her done.